I think it's completely off the wall. Uh, Trump is under an obligation since 1968 himself to be negotiating in good faith. That's the terms of the treaty, the nuclear non-proliferation treaty, to get rid of nuclear weapons. He's done nothing of the sort. Why should he have them and not North Korea? When, when you're dealing with a leader like Kim Jong-un, though, isn't military, a military threat the, the only way that you can, you can stop him getting out of control? You have to implement your threat, and your threat means the devastation of the large part of the world. Mm. Yeah, but Once you, you UN sanctions them. haven't worked before, have they? What? UN sanctions, uh, the threat that, you know, in terms of you aid... We just had a negotiations in New York. 122 countries have signed up against all nuclear weapons. Why can't Trump join that? Is there a place for military action, Bruce? Certainly not. Never? Cert oh, sometimes, maybe, but in this situation, certainly not. Uh, the gentleman here has talked about protecting the United States. They're both risking national suicide by what they're doing, not protecting anything, and people don't realise that. We don't have nuclear weapons now five times as big as the ones that destroyed Hiroshima and Nagasaki, and, and thousands of them. And, uh, and is China going to keep out of it? Is Russia going to keep out of it? We're on the edge of catastrophe, and to talk about protecting a country is, is really, I'm afraid, ridiculous. We should have other ways of resolving this conflict.